young, young boy A rocket ship was my toy Dreamed of going to the moon Never thought it would come so soon Hey, Dave. Hey, I see you found the uh, transporter. Fantastic. Um, well, um, be my guest. Go right ahead. Me? Uh, no, you go first. Okay, okay. Um, rock, paper, scissors. You ready? One, two, three. Ha-ha! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, rock crushes scissors. Uh, go right ahead, my friend. Your turn. Whoa. Hey, uh, pretty fast, pretty fast. Okay, here we go. Teleporting up to the building platforms. Building platform one, building platform two. Going up. Oh, okay, well, uh, that wasn't too bad. Once you're up here on uh, the platform, the platform of your choice, what you want to do is just kind of take a look around, walk around. It's nothing but a great big old football field, really, with a, a perimeter around it. You can't fly outside of that perimeter, and you can't build outside of that perimeter. You really can't go outside that perimeter, so you won't be falling down anymore. Now, once you've kind of looked around, scoped things out, find a place where you want to build your lesson. Find a place where you want to res your lesson. Now, once you have that place kind of chosen, Another thing that I want you to do, besides bringing that lesson in, getting it all set up and everything, is I want you to build a little name card in front of your lesson so that I and other members of the class can know whose lesson it is. So one of the things I want to do in this video is to show you how to do that name card. Okay, you begin as usual by clicking on Build. And after you've clicked on Build, the uh, big edit pane will come up, as you know. So go up there, and uh, the prim I want you to use is the cube. So you select cube, your cursor turns into a wand, and you drag your wand down to the ground. Uh, boom, there's your, there's your cube. Now, after you have that cube resed in, the uh, next couple things that I want you to do with it uh, are right here on this edit pane. So first, we're going to adjust its size. Now, it's a card that's going to have your name on it, so let's make it wide. Go ahead and put in two meters wide, okay? Now, because it's a card, you want it, you know, not to be a great big old block, you want it to be thin. So, on its thinness, put in about 0 0.02 or 3, 0 0.04. Don't go any higher than 4 or, or 5, because you don't want it to be a big old blob. Okay, and then the next thing you wanted to do is to adjust its height off the ground. So uh, make it about one meter high. Okay, so now after those steps, you should have a card about two meters long, about one meter high, and just a little bit uh, thick, uh, 0 0.03, let's, uh, let's say. So there's your card, and it doesn't have a texture on it. It doesn't have your name on it. Now, to put your name on it, what I want you to do is to go back up here to the Edit pane, and this time click on the Textures tab. And there your textures, uh, your small inventory window will open up right there. Now, what I've done is I've created a small JPEG file with each of your names on it. And I have dropped this file into your inventory. So the next time you sign on to Second Life, if you haven't already, I want you to accept this inventory, and this piece of inventory should be a JPEG with your name on it. Okay, today we're going to uh, do Donald's, so you scroll through your textures, and then there is Donald, let's say this is Donald doing his, then you simply select that texture, and then that texture comes up in the uh, preview window. Uh, once it's up in the preview window, you simply click Select, and boom, that texture gets applied to your cube. Now, right now, 
that texture is all the way around your cube, and it may look a little weird. It may go Donald, 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 or Donald, 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 like that. So you've got to adjust this texture to make it look the way you want it. Second Life doesn't know that it's a texture with just one name on it that you want to appear in the center of that cube. So you've got to make it work. So here's how, here's how you make it work. The first thing you want to do is to go up to adjust repeats per face. There's a horizontal repeat per face. The number of Donalds it says horizontally. And then there's adjust repeats per meter vertical. The number of Donalds it says vertically. So on your horizontals, you want to have maybe just one Donald repeated horizontally, but go ahead and adjust it depending upon the size you made your card is how you must, uh, uh, must adjust it. And then uh, the next thing you want to do is to adjust horizontal repeats vertical. And that's going to make uh, Donald go bigger, uh, bigger or smaller. So play with the horizontal repeats and play with the vertical repeats so that you've got just one name big and bold right across the front of your card. Now once you've adjusted your horizontal repeats and your vertical repeats, the next thing you want to do is to center that name. And you center that name by going down here to the adjust vertical and horizontal offset. Offset means it's going to boop, 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 move it a little bit this way or boop, 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 move it that way, move it up and move it down. Now these uh, vertical horizontal offset adjustments are very, very sensitive. So you want to make your adjustments in the small increments. Uh, a point 0.1 is a large adjustment. So it's like more like point zero 0.01 uh, or, uh, for your horizontal vertical adjustments. But anyhow, go ahead and make those adjustments so that Donald is lining up directly in the center of that card. Now, once you've done your vertical and horizontal offset adjustments in that, in that window pane, you've pretty much got it. There are a couple other things you can do if you want to, to kind of help it out. For example, right here on the bumpiness tab, uh, bumpiness, if you click on this um, down menu and you get this uh, arrow, get this menu right here, you can select a variety of things to make bumpy. Well, looking at this cube here, what's one thing you could make bumpy? Your name. So we, uh, we select the first one here, brightness, and that's going to bump out anything that's bright on that texture. And that's going to bump out uh, Donald. And that, that helps a little bit. You can also adjust the shininess. You can make the texture more or less shiny. You can make the background darker so that Donald is lighter. And you can go ahead and adjust that if you want to. Uh, but basically, that's it. As you'll notice, you still got Donald all the way around that cube. You only want Donald on one side. So what are you going to do about that? Very, very simple. Open up your textures inventory, and you don't have to be in the textures tab. Open up the textures inventory. Select any texture, wood, for example. You grab that texture, and you come down here, and you apply it to any side you want to. Bing! It can be on this side. Or you can go over here. You can select the wood texture, and you can bring it down here, and you can put it on that side. Flip this baby around, select your wood texture, come, and over, come over here, and put it on the back. And so now, let's turn it back around again, turn it back around again. So now you've got a cube that has one side with your name on it standing out, and then whatever texture you want on the other side. Okay, that's about it. Uh, once you're finished up here, be sure to lock everything down, lock all your objects so nobody can mess with them, and then go over here and transport back. Okay, so here we are at the transport balls, and you will be on your way. Okay, any questions as usual, give me a call, and I will talk to you guys later.